she been bothered by a bird? Huh? Has she been bothered by a bird? No. She had a next door that was coming to the house. You need tissues? I need tissues. Do you want this star? No, I got a box of No, I don't need it all. <laughs> I just want to have a pocket on it. piece of paper towel on your face. <laughs> Were you outside? No. Well, just walking in here. But the lowest I've ever did was like 96.4 when I first wake up. I'm really good. Supervisor Scheffler. Here. Councilman Needham. Here. Councilman Brown. Here. Let the record show all are present. Thank you. 
copy for canceling um, Frontier. Do you have a copy of the contract with Frontier? Do you? I don't. I've requested one. Okay. I spoke to four different representatives from Frontier in the last few days. Um, both Wendy Martin and I have been told that the town's contract goes through January 30th. Okay. Okay. Um, they've also advised us that if we terminate the contract prior to the end of the contract, mm -hmm. that we're still responsible for paying those months till, until the end of the contract. So, Which would be the 30th of January, what you're saying. That's what they, they told me. Uh, the, I sat there and talked to a woman. She had their contract in front of her. And I asked her repeatedly to confirm that. And that's what she told me. And so whether we vote tonight to terminate it or whether we don't, we're on the hook for $950 for the month of January. If it is, in fact, January, because so I've spoken to two different people, and I have been told emphatically that it was the 30th of December, not the 31st, and that I needed to get a, um, a note into them, and she laid it all out for me and told me what to do. I, I, I also that. asked if there was anything in the file requesting termination of our contract, and she told me no. Well, that's a... That's not true because it's right here. And this was sent out on the 30th of um, November 2020 at uh, 10.14 a.m. And it's to whom it may concern, please be advised that I spoke with Robin and Marketing today and had been advised her that the town of Thurman's contract is up on December 30th, 2020, and that we want to discontinue service as of 12.30, 2020. She asked me to put the name of the town, my name and position, callback number, date of disconnect, account number, and uh, I put on there to please contact me if any questions. Okay. And this so, was sent on the 30th. Okay. Regardless of whether the, the end, the contract expiration date is December or January, we have received a letter from the users of Whitespace. I'm aware of that letter. Asking us to continue until most, the majority of people are connected to Slick, and they've indicated that they're willing to cover the cost, not only, not only of Frontier, but also the national grid cost. So basically, the town is gonna to be operating this at zero expense. No, right, because there's additional expenses that they obviously are okay. not aware of. There's legal expenses, there's insurance we're gonna to have to have covering it, and you're gonna have repair. Well, that's only if it breaks, and we're, we're only talking about a few weeks, and so yes, there is a risk that it could break. Mm -hmm. There um, certainly is. I, I don't see how we're incurring any additional legal expenses. Well, by or insurance the time... Are, are you telling me that if we terminate this at the end of December, you're going to call the attorney and the insurance company and tell them this is done and our rates are going to go down? I never said our rates were going to go down. That's out of your mouth. By not contacting the attorney and having constant conversations with him and or emails back and forth, that will reduce our rate, yes. We shouldn't have to have any conversation with him. Well, we do, because this okay. is the property of the town of Thurman. So I, I make a motion that we, we table this resolution so that we can entertain a different resolution. And I'm against that, Mandy, and I'll okay. tell you why. Because the contract agreement is coming due whether it is tomorrow or if it's January 30th. We're going to have to end our services with them. The town cannot be responsible to maintain this, nor is the town legally responsible as a municipality to provide um, internet service to the That people. is debatable because Avis Russell has been in contact with representatives in the governor's office and other state offices and there's a concern that this is a necessary um, there service. There are other services and, available to these people. And, and there are users, one was recently diagnosed with a critical illness, who relies on this for telehealth. <laughs> so, bottom line, I, I made a motion the motion's on the table, so we have a second to second it, table. Now it's tabled. We need to no, vote. no, we need to vote on it. She, it she's yeah. correct. We have to vote on the motion to table this resolution, and then I'd like to introduce another resolution. Yeah, and even on this here, there's a motion 
specific dates on the No, board. there is no date intentionally. And I, I, that, that's what I asked you today. I prefer before I vote you know, I, to go on the contract. Just, I'd like to see the contract. So would I. And I well. have called and requested. And I don't know how I can honestly vote. You know, I have to be honest with you. Just, so, just so you know. No know one's made a request. I'm ahead and I'm just worried. You know, that I don't know. That's why I asked you today. Just so you know. This oh, was I run through the attorney yeah. to make sure that it was well, uh, it was above board. I don't no that. With and and he said there was no problems me. with it because we don't know as of that time. Yeah. And as of now, we still don't know yeah. what the well, exact I, termination I date is. I no one has requested that I check for the contract. I can make a, a, an effort to look for this contract with Frontier tomorrow. Yeah. I'm well, sure we have it someplace. I appreciate that, but so, when I came into office, I requested all copies of all the contracts. I, I, and I, was I gave you copies of everything that we had that was in with contracts. Yep. If there's anything that's filed separately, I wouldn't have known. So we, we have a, a motion and a second, and we'd like to roll call vote to table this resolution. Okay, roll call vote. Councilman Galusha. Yes. Councilwoman Harris. Yes. Supervisor Shepler. No. Councilman Needham. No. Councilman Brown. Yes. Okay, now I'd like to make a resolution that we continue the white space, the operation of the white space system, so long as the users are willing and agreeable to covering the cost of Frontier and National Grid until the majority of the users have been connected to the new slick enterprise system. I won't agree to that, and I'll tell you why. You don't have to, we get the vote on it. There's different expenses that will be coming forward that the town will not okay. and cannot afford to pay. Randy, there is no fat in the uh, current budget for 2021, and we can't afford to do anything extra okay. beyond. I made a motion, let's see if there's a second, if you wanna have a discussion about it, and then we'll vote on it. I'll second that one. I think that you need to include in that any additional expenses that come forward for white space, including repair, legal insurance, and anything else that is necessary. It is the town of Thurman. I, I don't, I don't want to include made. repair because we may get to a point where it may need repairs, and we and the users may collectively decide it's not worth it. So I don't want to put them on the hook for repairs if we're going to decide to dis disband it. Well, we'll, we'll have to make that done. decision at that time. Wait, we well, just had a radio go down. Aware of this, two or three months ago. Yeah, wait a minute, Doug. When we talked about this at the November 12th meeting, mm -hmm. we were all under the understanding that Slick was going to be here by the end of the year. That hasn't happened. Mm -hmm. These people are relying on this now. Mm -hmm. So if they're willing to cover the majority of costs, I mean, the other costs we're talking about, I think we're talking nickel and dime stuff, unless no, if not. something significant comes up, then we can make a decision at that time whether or not we have to continue beyond it. If all of a sudden we're presented with a $2,000 bill to repair it, we can make a decision at that time whether it's worth that investment. Yeah. We don't need to make that decision today. Well, I so think all I'm saying is. Wait until somebody stops talking before you start. Please don't. Well, thank you. Well, that would be helpful. You're welcome. How are we going to have a contract? We're going to have a contract with them? How are we going to do this? We, we have to commit. They have a letter they signed and committed to doing this. Mm -hmm. I need a legal agreement. And it has they to be legal. We don't, we don't need, we haven't had a legal agreement with them in the whole term of this grant contract. They have all legally bought their equipment and there was never anything pay. signed by the users in our That's unit. fine, but they bought their equipment and that so should I don't think this requires out. anything different. We've got their willingness to do this, their work, they're gonna do it. We're only Randy, talking about short the period of people that they were gonna pay right. and they've not paid. So yeah. what do you do in that scenario? Let's and what do you do in the scenario where you have people that are hooked up to white space currently who aren't even on record as being hooked up but are getting it free? Okay. That should have been taken care of before. I'm, I'm not going to deal with that now. We're just finding people out now. Okay. We have a resolution. Tom wants to know that somebody's not paying for a month. I didn't even know they were on it. 
They've been hooked up elsewhere by somebody else during a different administration, not this administration. No name. No name. Uh, no, that's correct. That is correct. Whether somebody's getting it for free or not does not impact whether we should terminate the paying user's service. They should be dealt with, I agree. Oh, yeah. But that doesn't mean because somebody's getting a free ride that we should screw these 10 people that are still I didn't say that. I'm just well, saying, how are you going to deal with it? It's an irrelevant, irrelevant issue. We haven't dealt with it since the beginning of this. Why yes. should we have to deal with it now? Yes, we have dealt with those that have not paid. I thought you didn't know who they were. We have new people that we're finding out that are on the system that we didn't know that were on the okay. system. Those that did not pay were being sent bills and collection notices. These are side issues. They are not the main issue. We have a resolution. It's on the floor. I think we need to vote on it. I would like you to include in that resolution any additional expenses that may come up, i.e. insurance, i.e. Uh, legal, repairs, the town is not paying for any of this, Randy. We have not got a penny to pay for it. And you know that it's your budget. <laughs> I'm going to hear that for another year. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I that I, I'm not going to include it in my resolution. If you want to make another resolution to do that, then feel free to do that. That's I can your amend your resolution to read that. Well, if you want to, I'm not amending my resolution. If you want to do that, then get a vote to table this one and come up with another resolution. But right now, we have a resolution here. All right, then I would like to table this. Get a second and get a I vote. I need a I'll second start. to table it. A new vote. Supervisor Shepler. Yes. Councilman Needham. Yes. Councilman Galicia. No. Councilman Harris. No. Councilwoman well, Harris, sorry. Councilman Brown. No. Okay, can we have a roll call vote on the resolution that I proposed? Would you say it again, please? Would you read it out loud so that I don't change it for you? Can I ask you a couple questions? Sure, sure. Now, we know the town is going to terminate no matter what. Yes. We know that's going to happen. Yep. Th this should allow free the town up from any commitments anyway. We pass a resolution that we're now responsible, they're responsible. I think that would be fine. You know, like you say. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, but it's, it's, it's been breaking down there. I know, but okay. they know that too. They're just yep. trying to buy a little time. I think this is going to be up in 30 days. I mean, I they got that whole building up today. I've been down there three, four times. That's admirable. I'm happy that they're finally making progress. Yeah, because we were promised this two years ago. Yes, but that's that's not the the personal fault or our fault. I mean, we're just we just got to jump out. And of it's not we're, our fault, the town's fault either. I know, I know these that. But the, know. The, the, these people know that we're not responsible for it once this is done. It's their right. responsibility. It frees the town. If they got the resolution. I don't see where we should go ahead with it. If they want it for 30 days or whatever, I think that's what most of them are. Are we going to set a limit? I think that we need to evaluate that if it comes up. If we're suddenly faced with a big repair bill, I think we need to be honest with these folks and say, look, Good this point. is a big bill we weren't anticipating. Well, we're not willing to cover it if that's the case. Yeah. And then we'll go on from there. And I think they understand that. I don't think they're expecting us to suddenly dump thousands of dollars into this if it breaks down. Are They're you? very aware of the situation. They're realistic. All right. They're it, because the Garnet Lake, um, I don't know if it's called the radio or not, it just went down. Yeah. What do you hear up there? Uh, what do you hear up there? You get everybody talking, do you? Yeah. Do they, do they feel that they, they, they understand that the town's not going to put any more money into the system? They understand that and they're willing to accept that responsibility. And this is why I would love to have the contact in front of us. Yeah. I mean, it, to, me, I would too. to me, it's hard to make a decision on anything without getting the facts up right. front, you know? Right. And that's all I ask. If we need to, we start, got to have more facts when we're doing some of these resolutions. And really, we do. We could, I, just, I just can't vote on something I don't really know what's going on, you know? And it, it might 
changed my life the other way if I did, you know? Right. I, and I was just being honest about it. Now, and this is, a short, this is a short-term commitment. I, I mean, we're not talking about six months or a no, year. No, I could have told you that because six months or a year is something well, they people are going to get real tired of. These people understand that, and, and they're, re there's they're ready to re accept responsibility. And like Randy said, if it breaks down, we're not going to be responsible. We're not going to put any money into it. So we, can't. we can't. We can't. We don't have the money to do it. And if it's a big bill, they might be willing to divide it up among them. Exactly. The that, that's the system still working. And it's we got not. we got a medical emergency here that needs to be covered. That's what bothers There's me. There's only right 10 here. people. No. There's only 10 there's only 10. There's 10 paid customers, and they've all agreed to cover the costs. Okay. Yeah. So I heard from a lot. They're going to pay this. I get it. In fact, they're even talking amongst themselves about paying it in advance, just as a goodwill measure, so that the town knows they're actually going to pay their bill. Right. So that's already been discussed Edith has in the been in to talk that over with me, and I told her, and I'll tell you the same thing. I don't feel it's fair for her to take on that responsibility, putting that much money up front. Well, that's their decision. Yeah, I understand that, but I don't want to see her not be able to recoup her money either. I think it needs to be equal and, and amongst all of them. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're, I hope so. They're talking about they're adding up the frontier and the national grid expenses. Yeah. And they're going to divide it between ten people, and they're going to pay it. Well, I was also told that it's nine hundred and fifty dollars, whether we terminate or not. Yes, but. One of the Frontier representatives, when we discussed it with him, indicated that we may possibly be able to negotiate a lower fee. I think they were talking something. Just so you know, you're not Can able to I'm negotiate saying? for the town of Thurman. I didn't negotiate for I'm the town sure, of Thurman. Nor is anybody else allowed to negotiate for the town of Thurman. All right? Just I didn't negotiate anything for the town of Thurman. I was looking for information and asked him what the possibilities were. That's fine. And he expressed an, uh, an interest and working with the town to come up with a better uh, fee that the town could afford so that the users could afford to keep this thing going. That's all. So why didn't they present that to the town earlier on and reduce the, um, the initial price? Nobody asked them. We have asked them if they could reduce the price. <laughs> well, apparently, they, you didn't ask them that question. Well, just Look, like they didn't get my okay. price. We're going to sit here and argue all night. we got no. a resolution. Let's vote on it. Would you okay. please say it again? Thank you. I don't have it written down. I was just going to take it off the tape, actually. Okay. I, the, basically, the resolution was I propose to continue, the town continue the operation of light space uh, until the majority of the users are connected to Slick with the understanding that the users are covering the cost of Frontier and National Grid. That's my resolution. Um, and what if the majority is users? There's 10 currently that are paying customers on the system that we're aware of. What is the majority, Randy? And what do we do with the others that are not the majority that are not? The others there? understand that when the majority are connected, they're going to lose the system. It's going to be shut down. They know that. What's the difference between they now and They signed this letter then? knowing that. What's the difference between now and then? Is that you're going to be able to serve these 10 people until they, uh, they all have a viable option. Well, they do have a viable option at this point in time, but you indicated that once the majority of them, and I asked you what about the minority, those who are not in the majority, what is going to happen to them? And you had those people that don't, those people sorry. will just have to go by the wayside. We those don't want people, to service them. Those people have known all along that when white space shuts down, they have to explore their own options because slick is not available to them. They've known that all along. So nothing's different for them, but the majority of people that are going to be connected to Slick do not want to have to go out and enter into a two-year contract with HughesNet or one of the others that's going to cost them a whole bunch of money, that's only going to last for a month or two, and then they can't get out of it, no. and they can't get Slick, and they've got lousy service for two more years. It's, 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 it's mind-boggling that we can't do this. So the minority that's not hooked up is going to have to go out and go to HughesNet. It depends. There's a possibility that we've talked to Slick 
And Slick is now indicating that they will run service on Sky High Road, so that may pick up some more of these people that weren't going to be served. These are things that we're working on. We're trying to get service to everybody. So it may happen. Slick is indicating an interest to do it. There's additional federal grants that have come out just recently. So Sky High Road is very likely to be served the way things stand right now. Well, there's not that many that have white space, yeah. but that's there's correct. probably about 10 or more users up along that road that have committed to Perky Granger that they will take advantage of Slick if it becomes available. That's what's making it economically viable, that and the possibility of a new federal grant. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look, there's solutions to these problems if we just look for them. And I agree that there certainly are, but my concern is, is that the town cannot bear any additional expenses, whether it's legal or anything else, Randy. Well, two people are going to decide not to do it. They have agreed to pick those up, up figure up. These guys have agreed to pick up the cost of this. Right. So, so somebody yeah. steps out, they yeah. already agreed that they're going to pick up the third cost. On that if we're, um, Again, I, I, I can't iterate enough that we cannot afford as a town to take on any additional expense, whether it be legal, insurance, repairs, none of that. You've made yourself clear. Well, I want it understood because I don't want there to be any gray areas. Because if we come forward with a legal bill, it's got to go to these folks and they've got to pay it. If we get not, if not we get the repairs, resolution I just proposed. If we get a repairs, it's going to have to go to them. Well, who's going to pay for it? If we incur legal expenses, that shouldn't be on them because we can't do our jobs properly. If we incur legal expenses because we are continuing on with white space, and as a result of that, there is a legal expense that has occurred, that has to trickle down to these folks. And I explained that to uh, Ada when she was Then you're gonna have to propose another resolution to cover that because it's not included in mine. Well then fine, I will propose another one. Okay. We need a roll call on one that I just said. Okay, Councilman Belusha. Yes. Councilwoman Harris. Yes. Councilman Needham. Councilman Brown? Yes. Supervisor Shekla? No. So with that resolution passing, I'd like to introduce another resolution to go in addition to this one and not changing Mr. Belusha's, Belusha's resolution, but to have one include the fact that these people that are willing to pay the expenses of white space to maintain it are also going to have to incur any additional expenses that come forth to the town. For example, legal expenses. I don't know if we're going to have to have any additional insurances or not. And it also is going to include repair. Repair, you said? Repair. Because the town of Thurman cannot endure. And people understand that. That's why I was Well, saying. but we're going to keep it in writing so there's right. no oh, question. They have no problem with that. People have no problem with that. You have to recognize that. Yeah, it's got to be in writing, unfortunately. The repair part is not really a big deal because we can show them it's going to cost whatever X dollars to repair the system. I have a problem with the legal part of it because they should not have to pay our legal fees for something that, you know, whatever we're doing. And the insurance should not be any different. So I don't think those two things should be in there. And, and That's your opinion, but that's what I want in there. And I want it understood. Well, legal and insurance, you don't believe should be in there. No, I do not. But the repairs have to be in there because some of the repairs can be quite costly. And I, I said before, we can handle those on a case-by-case -case basis, right. and when they come up, we can present them to the users and say, look, the town's not prepared to That's cover fine. these, and let them decide whether they want to cover them or not. That's fine. I don't fine. think we need a resolution. I want it in that. writing, Randy, so that there is no question and no gray area. 
and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm crossing my T's and dotting my I's in regards to this. So the topic, I got the night, you're talking to repair, you know, I'm under the impression that most of the stuff is obsolete, you can't buy parts for it anyway, so only the town is gone. And they know that. Some of that is the, that some of that some is of that very is true, true, right? Some of that is true. Yeah. But there is a radio, I, I, for lack of better terminology, it's a unit uh, that services the Granite Lakes um, Road area um, has just gone down. Right. And we have one to replace it, but you have to take it and it has to be uh, queued into yeah, the right. different coordinates and so forth. And that costs money. Oh. And then to have it installed costs money. Town's not going to take that no, on. They, they know that. They know that. Well, this way, there will be no question, and we can come back and say, yes, there was a resolution passed on December 29th, mm -hmm. and they are, are going to be CC'd on it. Do I have a second? A motion? I do I have a second? Thank you. So you're introducing a motion, I guess? Yes, thank you. Supervisor Shepler? Yes. Councilman Needham? Yes. Councilman Galusha? No. Super, uh, I keep calling you something wrong to me, sorry, John. Yes. <laughs> Councilwoman Harris? No. Councilman Brown? No. I do trust the people of Jones, but this way there is not one of the housing questions. Then, Mandy, what I would expect you to do, since you have been working so diligently with these people, is to inform them that this is what we're expecting. All right? Even though it didn't come to a resolution, this will be their responsibility to put the town to not afford any additional expenses. Yeah, I'll make sure they do. Please. Um, make a motion to make Just one minute. Um, today I received a, um, an email from um, Randy in regards to, uh, and I'd like to read it. Do you have any objections? No. Um, he says, in the last 10 days from 1218 to 1228, Warren County has reported 255 new cases of COVID-19 and surrounding towns have announced that they will be closing their meetings to the public. As much as I am an advocate for open government, I believe that we should take this um, first prudent step to close our meetings to the public until the pandemic subsides. I would, this does not require a resolution, but I would like to get the feeling of the, the town board. Well, I disagree, I think it does require a resolution. I have checked it's into it, but thank you. Um, I should add that today, Warren County reported 43 more COVID exactly. cases just yeah. today. Yeah. So we're up to 298 in the last 11 yeah. days. And we have cases in town now. And we have seven in the APOL zip code. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many in the Warren County, Warrensburg zip code are in Thurman. So we have so seven in the APOL zip code? Seven in the APOL zip code as of today. Yeah. So I think that we need to take that step and do it. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to share that we're three days away from going into the yellow as Warren County. Right, right. Just so everybody's aware that we're it's rapidly coming our way, and the yep. metrics and the math will not allow it to be reversed, unfortunately. So, taking all of that into consideration, I would like to make the recommendation that we do close our our meetings to the public for the time being until um, the pandemic seems to have subsided substantially. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Can you? I'm sorry. In uh, Warrensburg, close the Warrensburg and Chester Town yeah. both have. Yeah, they close their offices. They close their offices in addition to doing um, closed meetings. That's just me. And since we're discussing this, can you tell me where it says in town law that you have the authority to close the meeting without a resolution? I have a meeting. What is it? Close the meeting? That you have the right to close the meeting to the public without a board resolution. I just want to know I where it says it that. I the attorney. Okay, and but the attorney is based on law, so some Yes, and I will also tell you that the attorney is speaking to him because Susan and I talked about page 35 in here today 
in regards to if all of the board members were not present, we could not have the board meeting. That is not fact. We still can have it. On page 24. As long as 35. I didn't discuss it page with you. I just told you that there is a law in there that says if a meeting is posted, less than so much notice to the public, all members must attend and participate in order for the meeting to be held. Special meetings being in. What's that? Special meetings being 35. I didn't have my book with me. I was online at the bank when you called me. That's fine, and I appreciate that, but I also informed the attorney that we couldn't hold a meeting unless we had everybody present, and he said that that's not true. This is a book of recommendations. He said that it's put together by the Association of Towns. He says, I am an attorney, and I am telling you that if you've got a majority, which is three or four people, if a fifth person didn't show, I could have the meeting. So, with that being said, I have also spoken with other supervisors in the area and asked them, do you have to have a resolution to close the meetings? And they said no. Okay, but where does it say that? I don't have it in writing, Andy. Well, I mean, it's got to be someplace in the law. And it does say in here, just so you know, where the meeting is called by the town supervisor under Town Law 62, the supervisor must provide written notice to each town board member at least two days in advance of the meeting. State agencies have opined that the town board may waive its right to written notice if all members attend the meeting. If all members don't, and you haven't given two days written notice, you don't have a special meeting. I'll take it from the word of our town lawyer. Is it in my book? Is it in the town clerk book? That's the town clerk book. And it says it also in the town law. On page 35 in section B. But if you want to do a resolution to close the meetings, that's fine. It's not required. I think it's appropriate. It's not required. I'll make the resolution that given the increasing COVID-19 cases in Willow County, that we close future board meetings to the public until we determine that the numbers have subsided or gone back down to an acceptable level determined by the board. Effective immediately. I'll add that. But the meetings can be put out on the internet. They have been and they will be. So you're making that motion? That's my motion. I'll second. You ready for a vote or do you guys want discussion? Yeah. Any discussion? No, I agree. Roll call vote. Supervisor Scheffler? Yes. Councilman Galusha? Yes. Councilwoman Harris? Yes. Councilman Needham? Yes. Councilman Brown? Yes. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming out. It is appreciated. It was such short notice. Um, do I have a motion to adjourn? Yes. Doug? Yes. John? Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.